John 14. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am you may also be. And you know the way to where I am going, Thomas said to him. Master, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Yeshua said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you have come to know me, you will all know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Yeshua said to him, Have I been with you for so such a long time, and you haven't come to know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father dwelling in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or at least believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I tell you, he who put his trust in me, the works that I do, he will do, and greater than these he will do, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name that I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, so he may be with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not behold him or know him, you know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. I will not abandon you as orphans, I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer behold me, but you will behold me because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be led by my Father, and I will love him and reveal himself to me, myself to him. Judah, not the one from Creo, said to him, Master, what has happened that you are about to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Yeshua answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while dwelling with you. But the Helper, the Ruach HaKodesh, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of everything that I said to you. Shalom, I leave you. My shalom I give to you, but not as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled or afraid. You've heard me say, I'm going away and I'm coming back, that I'm going to the Father. I would come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will not talk with you much longer, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has nothing on me, but in order that the world may know that I love the Father, I do exactly as the Father commanded me. Get up, let's go from here. Chapter 15. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he trims so that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of me, and I will abide in you. The branches... You, already, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I will abide in you. The branch cannot itself produce fruit unless it abides in the vine. Likewise, you cannot produce fruit unless you abide in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. The one who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and is dried up. Such branches are picking up and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it shall be done for you. In this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. Just as the Father has loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you so that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I am no longer calling your servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. Now I have called you friends, because everything I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I selected you so that you would go up and produce fruit, and your fruit would remain. Then my father will give you whatever you ask in my name. These things I command you so that you may love one another. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. 
but you are not of the world, since I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecute me, they will persecute you also. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for the sake of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me, he who hates me also hates my father. If I had not done works among them that no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen and they have hated both me and my father. So it is fulfilled the word written in their scripture. They hated me for no reason. When the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the father, the spirit of truth, who goes out from the father, he will testify about me and you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. Luke, John 16, I've spoken these things to you so that you may be kept from stumbling. They will throw you out of the synagogues. Yes, an hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. They will do these things because they have never known the Father or me, but I have spoken these things to you, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told, them, told you of them. I did not tell you these things from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you is asking me, Where are you going? Because I have spoken these things to you, grief has filled your heart. But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world about sin, righteousness, and judgment, concerning sin, because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me, and concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world has been judged. I still have much more to tell you, but you cannot handle it just now. But when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but whatever he hears, he will tell you. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said the Ruach will take from what is mine and declare it to you. A little while and you will no longer see me. And again in a little while you will see me. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean by telling us? A little while and you will no longer see me. And again in a little while you will see me. And because I am going to the Father... They kept saying, what's this? He's saying, in a little while, we don't know what he's talking about. Yeshua knew that they wanted to question him. So he said to them, are you asking each other about this? That I said, a little while and you will no longer see me, and then again in a little while you will see me? Amen, amen, I tell you. You will weep and mourn, but the world will celebrate. You will be filled with sorrow, but your sorrow will turn to joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain because of her hour has come. But when she gives birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. And that day you will ask me nothing. Amen, amen, I tell you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Up to now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be full. These things I have spoken to you in metaphors. An hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in metaphors, but will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day where you will ask in my name, and I'm not telling you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and going to the Father. His disciples say, See, now you're speaking plainly and not in metaphors. Now we know that you know everything and have no need to be asked anything. By this we believe that you came forth from God. Yeshua answered them, Do you now believe? Look, the hour is coming. Indeed to his own. Indeed has come. When you will be scattered, each to his own, and you will abandon me. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have shalom. In the world you will have trouble, but take heart, because I have overcome the world.